Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining the process of switching over your 3D printer filament on the Vox Lab Aquila. I'd never done this before. I looked online, I tried to figure out how to do it and there really wasn't any good explanation. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, I'm not actually gonna do it because I just did it. Um, actually, you know what? I can actually fire up the other printer and I can do it on that one. So here okay, we go. So I'm gonna turn this Vox Lab Aquila on and start a print. I'm gonna let it go ahead and print. This is the one that I actually switched it on and as you can see, it turned out really well. Um, this is the spool of black that I switched from because it's not enough to finish this print. So I wanna go ahead and put a full spool in there. Um, this is a three day print, by the way. But this one, give it a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and let it just start printing something randomly, which is actually an ear for this mask. And we're gonna change from purple to, we'll go to orange, even though the orange messes up sometimes. So just give me about five, 10 minutes for it to start printing and we'll go ahead and swap it out. Okay, so we've got the printer running. We're gonna go ahead, hit pause, suspend printing. And then while it's still hot, we're going to go ahead and remove the old filament. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this out. Okay, with it pulled out, you're going to notice it's going to look like this on the end, so make sure you trim it off before storing. Now go ahead and change out your roll and cut your tip. So i got to go ahead and cut mine. Okay, so I've got it inserted. I'm just going to go ahead and push it all the way to the tip. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera back down and finish pushing it. Okay, now that it's all the way down, we're going to just go ahead and hit play. And what it will do is actually, it will dispense just a little bit of the new color and then resume printing. And as you can see, it does a great job. You can't even tell that I swapped on this one. Well, actually, maybe you can. There's super faint line, maybe. I can't feel it, but there very possibly is a faint line. But it's gonna, just barely push a little bit of this out and then it'll resume printing. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this helps y'all out. I know it, it it was something I didn't know and I couldn't really find info on.